on the road. On the road once again. You feel what I'm saying, man? But I hope all y'all feeling good this morning, man. I hope I'm free. By the end of this real talk, you hear me? Y'all grinning from ear to ear just like me, man. For real, for real. But man, today, and, and real life, just to start off once again, bro. I just want to give a big shout out to all y'all, man. Real talk, I really thank y'all for all the love y'all give me out here. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that, that really will be keeping me going. You feel what I'm saying? That's really what be keeping me going, bro. For real, for real, man. But today, on, on, on this real talk, you feel what I'm saying? I really just want to let y'all know that the, the success that you want to acquire, the, the greatness and the heights that you really want to reach, that's gonna require a different version of you. You feel what I'm saying? And when I say that, I'm not saying you gotta just ultimately be this whole different type of person, but in reality, you gotta be better than you was yesterday. You gotta be better than you was last week. You gotta see a, a, a whole 180 of yourself from last year. You feel what I'm saying? And really, really it's like, we can't sit here and try to be in competition with each other. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to beat him. I'm gonna try to. Uh uh. Nah, man. The only person you should really be trying to beat is that person in the mirror. That person who you wake up in the morning and look up, look, look, look in the eye every morning when you brush your teeth and stuff like that. You feel? I don't know if all y'all brush your teeth, but <laughs> but you feel what I'm saying, bro? That's the only person who you should be trying to beat out you. You feel what I'm saying? Because we not we not in competition out you. Just like I want my brothers to eat, I, I I won't eat. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, just wake up in the morning and try to beat you. You feel what I'm saying? If you went to the gym yesterday and you did 30 push-ups, all right, today just try to do 31. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said in that last Real Talk video, it only requires you to be 1% better. It only requires you to be 1% better. That's how you outbeat yourself. That's how you outwork yourself. You feel what I'm saying? We not going backwards. We not we not staying stagnant. We not trying to be the same. Now nah, we out here trying to beat our own records. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, if you really out here trying to trying to acquire greatness, you feel what I'm saying? Because I think about it like, bro, anybody could wake up in the morning and go get some money. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody could 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 wake up and and, and go do this and go do that. But now, nah, like, if you really want to acquire that generational wealth. If you, if you really want, you know, the people who you're around, if you really want to set them up for success, that's going to that's gonna require a different version of yourself. You can't sit here every day and do the same thing over and over and never try to level up. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You really got to try to be better than you was yesterday. Just like when you working out. Just like when you working out. And I, I think I had this argument with somebody before. And they, they told me about myself, like, when you working out, how you gonna expect to get stronger if you pushing the same weight over and over? If you pushing the same weight over and over, like that's low key stagnant. You gotta put some weight on there. You gotta add at least five pounds, or uh, uh, at least, uh, at least a, a two pound on that thing. You feel what I'm saying? After every rep. And I ain't even gonna say after every rep, but you know, gradually as you trying to get stronger, you gotta add a little more weight on there. You can't sit there and try to push the same weight over and over and expect to and expect to grow stronger. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Nah, you got a real life come out here and try to beat your own records. Real life try to like outwork yourself. You feel me, bro? Like right now I'm recording on the road again. You feel what I'm saying? Usually, you know, I, I probably would have kept it at that one video a week. But you know what? Nah. Nah, dog. I'm trying to outwork myself. You hear me? Nah, nah, dog. I'm, I'm real life trying to, I, I, I'm real life trying to, you know, trying to just be better than I was yesterday. So yesterday I posted a, a, a 20 minutes of real talk. I might try to do 30 today. I don't know. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But it's just about being better than you was last week. Being better than you was last year. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to discourage y'all by saying every day you gotta do, do something new. But, but simply, just at least try to take one extra step. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about being 1% better. You feel what I'm saying, man? Real talk. Real talk. Because it's like, when you wake up in the morning, what you what you gonna do? Uh, I, I heard Rick Ross say, what you gonna do? You, you, gonna, you gonna beg? 
You gonna you gonna wake up in the morning and start begging? Are you gonna wake up in the morning and get to work? Huh? You gonna wake up in the morning and start begging? Are you gonna wake up in the morning and start getting to work? You feel? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I do that every day. <laughs> excuse me. But it's like, bro, we can't come out chill and just wait, 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 and 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 just be what they call it. Just you, yeah, yeah. Real talk. It's like. You're not supposed to be reacting, you're supposed to be proactive. Because when you reacting, you ain't- Bro, I ain't got no story, so I might cut out a couple more times. But I'm about to run it with y'all, you hear me? But it's like I, like I was trying to say, like you can't sit here and try to just be reacting, try to just wait on somebody to bring you something, cause shoot, if you just sit there and wait on another man to try to bring you success, you might be waiting 10 plus years. But just imagine if you woke up in the morning and said, you know what, I'm gonna do this for myself. You know what? I'm gonna contact that manufacturer. You know what? I'm gonna contact that job. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna be my own graphic designer. I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this myself. You will get way further trying to be proactive than reactive. Cause like I said, if you sit there and try to wait on another man or try to bring you success, you might be waiting ten plus years. It might it might take around thirty years till you get what you really want. You feel what I'm saying? So, bro, it's like wake up in the morning and be proactive for yourself. Wake up in the morning and make the decision for yourself that, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because a lot of times we try to wait on the team. I, and I and I, I ain't going to lie, I'm not, I'm not a real team player, if we being honest. I, I never really work too well with others. I know I got to be better at that, but it's like at a certain point in your life and a lot of us we we we, we down here bro we ain't, we ain't got all this we ain't got all that so it's like you got to take initiative in your own life you feel what i'm saying and once you start taking the steps towards what you want people gonna start coming along people gonna start coming along that team is just gonna subconsciously build you feel what i'm saying but you can't sit there and just try to wait on the team try to wait on somebody to bring you this or somebody to bring you that because like i just said sometimes you got to wake up in the morning and be your own graphic designer you gotta you might gotta be your own youtube editor you gotta be your own this and your own that but if you try to sit down and wait on everything to be perfect you ain't doing nothing but tricking yourself out of position you ain't doing nothing but tricking yourself out of position. And I say that because it's like, bro, waiting on perfection, man, that's going to be another 10 plus years. You hear me? Because it's like, bro, it ain't going to never be perfect. It's always going to be little adjustments that you can make. It's always going to be little things that you're going to nitpick about. You feel what I'm saying? So you cannot sit there and try to, try to just make everything perfect before you start. Real talk, bro, remember this. Remember this, you grow as you go. That's real. You grow as you go. You understand me? Because it's like, bro, my 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 first, my the first pieces that I did so far as I had t-shirts first. I had, I had um, it wasn't, I guess you call that screen print, you know, whenever they hot press it or whatever. I forgot what you call it, but that was that was my first t-shirts. That that's how I, that's how I rocked out the first time. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, I had to slowly but surely grow, and now I got the bubble print. You feel what I'm saying? But if I would have tried to just wait on, man, what I'ma do? Oh, what's the what's the perfect what's the perfect what's the perfect print? What's the perfect what's the perfect texture? What's the perfect this? What's the I probably would have never got started. You feel what I'm saying? Because every day things are changing. Every day people are doing new things. You feel what I'm saying? And so. Now that I started off with the with the print on demand, I think that's what you call it. Now I got the bubble print. And these samples that I got, they're way cooler than the bubble print. You feel what I'm saying? But you gotta realize, and, and, and a lot of entrepreneurs, I don't think they realize this because, bro, when you build an audience, bro, your audience, they wanna see, they wanna see the, 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 the mess ups. And I ain't gonna say the mess ups, but they wanna see you progress in your business. They wanna see you grow. So if you start off with the with the most perfect thing, how you gonna level up off of that? And not saying you can't level up off of that, but it'll be so much harder to level up off of that because like I said, bro, I started off with print on demand, gilded t-shirts, five dollar t-shirts. You hear me? Five dollar t-shirts. People that see me go from five dollar t-shirts to fifty dollar hoodies. Now what the next thing gonna be? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't gonna say too much, you hear me? But it's like, bro. People want to see you grow. 
they don't want to see you just start off with the with the most perfect this and the most perfect that because it's like bro when you're building an audience like i said they want to see it all they they want to see that progression you feel me bro but we all got to realize no matter what you're doing out here bro no matter what you're doing out here you grow as you go you grow as you go it's like bro for for i i kid you not it's probably and i, I don't know i i don't know i don't know the statistics but most likely it, it, it's a 75 percent chance that the people who started playing sports when they was in elementary and middle school it's a 90 percent chance that they better than the police you hear me it's a 90 percent chance that they better than the people who started off playing in high school right or wrong I kid you not, if you start playing sports when you when you at a younger age, you able to, 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 to have the mess ups. You able to learn these skills. You able to do this, to do that. You feel what I'm saying? More than a person who just start from scratch in high school. You in high school already. Everybody else, they 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 already yeah. They already they already on point. You feel what I'm saying? But if you start in middle school, you start in elementary, you able to to, to work them kinks out. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm really trying to get at. So sometimes you gotta just, you know, put it in perspective of sports. You feel me? You grow as you go. As you as you as you progress, I mean as you start, yes, it's not gonna be perfect. Yes, you gonna mess up. Yes, it, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly, bro. Just imagine me, bro. I'm walking around Atlanta. I got them print on demand t-shirts. I'm holding them t-shirts up. I got these gilded, these gilded t-shirts, and not say people wasn't rocking with me. But you know, people people like high quality stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So, oh, oh, I I I realized that, and so I moved on to this, and I got this, and I got that. But like I said, you gotta start somewhere. You got to, got to, got to start somewhere, bro. For real, for real. So we can't sit here and constantly trick ourselves out of position by thinking we gotta start with the perfect. We gotta start with the high quality. We gotta start with the best. Nah, bro. Start where you are. Real talk. Start where you are. Because I'm kidding you. I I, I mean, not kidding. I, I I promise you. If you took the steps today, you're going to be so much further in a year from now. A, 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 a two years from now. A ten years from now. Just imagine. If you take the steps today, just imagine how much further you're going to be five years from now. You feel what I'm saying? Because we got to realize five years is going to pass e either way it goes. Either way it go, it's just like like people who who, who be discouraged as, as, as wanting to be doctors and stuff. I mean, if you truly want to do that, bro, go out and do that. Don't let the school and discourage you because ten years gonna pass either way. So why not spend your ten years, you know, learning a great skill that that's gonna pay you millions? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, if you take the steps today, just imagine how much further you're gonna be laid on in life. Just imagine how much further you're gonna be way later in life, bro. But if you if you try if you sit there and wait, like I said, wait on somebody else to bring you that success, you might be waiting 10 plus years. And in, 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 in reality, you ain't doing nothing but tricking yourself out of position. So it's like, bro, we gotta stop playing ourselves. We gotta we gotta stop holding ourselves back. We ain't doing nothing but 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 what they what they say, like you you just in your own way. You simply just in your own way. So it's like, bro, get out your own way, bro, and just start taking the steps towards what you want. It ain't gonna start off perfect, player. You hear me? It ain't gonna start off the best player, but you gotta start somewhere, bro. You gotta start off somewhere. It's like, bro, for when this past summer, right? Whenever I was teaching in Atlanta, bro, whenever I first started teaching, it, it came to me natural, don't get me wrong. It came to me natural. But I wasn't that I wasn't that fire. Nah, I, I wasn't that fire, bro. I had I had mess ups with just, you know, I'm I'm spending I'm spending a whole class on one topic. I can't be doing that. I'm I'm spending a whole class trying to do one-on-one -on -one work, but I got I got 15 students in here. I can't I cannot be one-on-one -on -one with this one student for, for 30 minutes in a class only 50 minutes. I, I had a lot of mess ups whenever I started teaching. You feel what I'm saying? But, man, kid y'all not. You grow as you go. And kid y'all not. Once again, bro, I ended that summer all being teacher of the summer. 
Yeah, man. I, I was teaching her the summer, bro. So it's like, if I wouldn't have, uh, you know, tried to try to learn, learn my ins and outs as I was going, you know what I'm saying, try to incorporate new things here and there, I probably wouldn't have been teacher or something. I probably wouldn't have got the, 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 what can you say? I probably wouldn't have got the results that I got out of my students. Because, bro, I'm telling y'all, I truly feel like I changed a whole lot of students' lives. Man, what? Man, I, I feel like I changed a whole lot of students' lives. If not all of them, if not all of them, 70%, you hear me? 70% because I'm telling y'all bro I'm telling y'all it, it, it's, it's it's just you gotta understand that it's a journey not a destination it's a journey not a destination so if if it, it, it's gonna be a road to your success like it's gonna be steps that you gotta take like we gotta understand that just once again, it ain't gonna start off perfect. You may not start off in the best position. And I feel like a lot of this talk that I'm talking is for entrepreneurs. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, you could you could incorporate this in, in just real life also. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, this, this real life, it ain't even just for entrepreneurs. I'm gonna take that back. This real life, this real life, it's gonna take for you to grow, to just, to just start. To just take that leap of faith you feel what i'm saying i believe in god you feel what i'm saying i believe in a higher power so it's like bro take that leap of faith take that leap of faith on yourself like bet on yourself like we we throw money here and there we put money here we put money there but we don't want to put the money back into ourselves that's crazy that's backwards to me bro i be spending my last on myself you hear me? I'm talking about investing in myself, bro. I, I spend my last. I, I, I do it, bro. And that's just how much I believe in myself, bro. Like, I real life spent my last on these hoodies, bro. Because I had to pay for school. And then I went out of town. And then, man, I, I, I spent my last. Uh, no, I, I spent my last on these hoodies. And then all I real life had left was just enough to pay for school and to go out of town. And man, kid y'all not, bro. After I paid, after I came from that trip and then I paid for school, I was I was low. I was low. I was low, but I ended up selling all my hoodies. But best believe, I wouldn't have been able to quadruple that money if 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 I wouldn't have taken that leap of faith on myself. If if I wouldn't have bet it on myself, if I wouldn't have invested in me. Invested in me. You know, people get confused by, oh, you know, invest. Invest, invest, but man, the best thing for you to do is invest in yourself. Invest in your craft. Invest in what you want out of you. You feel what I'm saying? And it ain't always gotta be nothing crazy, bro. But realize we put money here, we put money there, we give people millions upon millions of dollars, and we don't give ourselves nothing. That's backwards to me, bro. That, that's backwards to me, bro. So it's like we real life gotta understand that it's gonna take for you. To get out your own way and and, 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 and just and just ball out out you. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? If you really want to ball out out you, you gotta get out your own way. You gotta start taking them steps. You gotta take the initiative. You feel what I'm saying? Everything everything's come everything come back to you. Everything. The, the, the results that you got in life, the position that you at right now, all that fall back on you. And, I, and, and, and a lot of y'all who listening to me right now, I'm pretty sure everybody is above the age of 16 and 17. Everybody above the age of 16 and 17. And at that age, I feel as though it's time for you to stop pointing the finger. It's time for you to stop saying, oh, because of him, I'm here. Oh, oh because of this, I'm, I'm this way. But no, bro. All that fall back on you. I'm pretty sure you had something to do with why you right there. I'm pretty sure you got something to do with why you in the position that you're in. So it's time for you to just start taking initiative in your own life. And don't pity yourself. Please, please do not pity yourself. Do not lay down and just cry about it. Nah, you know what? Since I'm in the position, since I, since this going wrong, I'm going to take these steps to make it better. Since, since this ain't looking right, I'm going to take these steps to, to do better. You feel what I'm saying? You can't sit here and just pity yourself all day. Nah, look around. 
and ask yourself, what steps do I need to take? I said that in the other video. What do I need to do to make this my situation better? It's simple as that, bro. Quit trying to wait on something to make it better and just you be better. That, that, that's being proactive. That's being proactive, bro. So, man. <laughs> man, I kid y'all not, bro. It, it, it's just important for, for us to realize that it, it all it's all on us. It's not on mama no more. It's not on daddy no more. It's not on your little partners no more. All that's on you. All, all that fall back on you, bro. For real, for real, man. I ain't lying, bro. I ain't lying at all, man. But I'm going to really click out and I'm going to come back with another topic, yeah? Because I, I'm, I really just be ranting at this point. Like I said, this might be a little 30 minutes of real talk. You hear me? But uh, I'm going to come back. Yeah, I really had got hot. You hear me? Uh, my AC ain't really busting in here. You know what I'm saying? But I had to ride with the windows out for a second. <laughs> But what I what I want to come back on and say is like like yesterday whenever I explained um I had explained you know being yourself and no 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 I explained putting yourself within alignment with what you want you feel what I'm saying and something like that that could help y'all understand that it's just like you gotta let your dream consume you you feel what I'm saying you gotta let that dream consume you so far as like a rapper. A rapper gonna get up every day and rap. A rapper gonna get up every day and freestyle. They gonna write raps, they gonna do this, they gonna do that. You feel what I'm saying? Let that dream consume you. And so far as whatever you want out here, I just need you to wake up and do that every day. Whether you practicing it, whether, whether, whether if it's just doing it to the best of your capability. You feel what I'm saying? Because all of us, we don't necessarily have the means to do everything that we wanna do, but it's like, bro, whenever I wanted to be a barber, man, I went to sleep looking at barber videos. When I'm sitting out eating my food, I'm looking at barber videos. When I'm when I'm when I'm riding in the car, my mom, I got barber videos on me. I, I I said on me, but I I had barber videos in my phone. Like I'm just watching it. You feel what I'm saying? But that's letting that dream consume you. So it's like revolve everything around that dream. Revolve everything you do around your end goal. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes they say. And I heard somebody say this, like, you got to start with the end in mind. You got to start with the end in your mind. So far as, what do you want to see yourself in 10 plus years? And just start with that. Whatever you want to see yourself in 10 plus years, work backwards towards it. Work your tail towards it. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, we got we to gotta have that vision. That's why vision boards are important. We got to know what we aspiring for. You feel what I'm saying? Because having that vision board or just simply having that end goal in your mind, that's constant motivation. That's constant motivation. Player, I'm not riding in a car that I want in, the, in 10 years, so I'm gonna make sure every day I'm working towards that. I don't I don't live in a house that I wanna live in, so I'm gonna make sure I'm working every with every every day towards that. Like I told myself, I want I wanna be a uh I want I wanna be the teacher of the year. I'm about to go to Georgia. Oh, but I'm about to be the teacher of the year. And since I ain't there yet, I'm going to work my tail towards I'm going to take the steps every day. Every day. I'm going to take the steps towards that. You feel what I'm saying? Because we we, we sometimes, we go, it's, it's so easy to get discouraged, y'all. And, and man, I'm running it. I, I got to take this hoodie, y'all. I'm, I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. Hold up. Hoodie, y'all. But it's so easy to get discouraged, y'all. It's so, it's so easy to want to quit. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the most important thing not to do, bro. Even though you get discouraged, even though it look ugly, you cannot quit. You cannot quit, bro. Like, and I, I'm gonna keep, bro, I'm gonna forever tell this story, bro. Like, bro, y'all know I just graduated. The Monday before graduation, I got a failing grade back. You hear me, bro? I had a 56 in my class. A real life. I had a 56 in my class, bro. And, and, and that's, that's so easy to be like, damn, I'm not graduating. Like, it's so e I could have easily been like, damn, my like, you can cancel the graduation party. Like, y'all don't have to come out here no more. Like, I gotta do a whole nother semester. Like, it, that was that was a that was the perfect moment for me to give up. That was that was the perfect moment for me to take that I was graduating in 2023 out of my mind. That was the perfect moment to give up, y'all. 
but but the you got to start with the end in mind i told myself i was gonna graduate in 2023 you know what i did i contacted everybody everybody in the department all of the advice i contacted everybody i could in order for me to graduate in 2023 you feel what i'm saying it's so easy to become discouraged y'all and, and and that's how life gonna be things are gonna be ugly stuff not gonna go your way you feel what i'm saying but you cannot quit especially before the finish line especially before the finish line you cannot quit i i got i could see if i would have made it to graduation they would have turned me turned me around at the door that that that's at the finish line already i'm i'm obviously hit at that point but no they gave me that they gave they failed me on monday they gave me a 56 on monday graduation wasn't till saturday that gave me four to five days to really to really get something in the works, to really contact everybody I had to contact, to really do what I needed to do in order for me to walk across that stage. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Kid you not, that's just how life gonna be. Right, right at the finish line, right when that finish line around the corner, my fault, when that finish line is around the corner, that's when, that's when you gonna want red and white flag. That's when you gonna want quick. That's when things are gonna look the ugliest, but you gotta push forward, bro. You got to, got to, got to push forward, son. I ain't lying. I ain't lying, bro. That, that's real life, bro. That's real life because we can't sit here and, and just quit prematurely. Bro, you never know. You never know what can happen if you just try a little harder. Bro, if I, bro, if I wouldn't have contacted everybody in power, if I wouldn't have contacted everybody in that school, I would have been, at, I would have been in college again. I'd have, I'd have had to do another semester. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have reached my goal of graduating early. Like, if you quit prematurely, you will never know what can happen. You will never know what can happen. So you can't sit there and, and allow yourself to, to, to be discouraged to the point that you won't quit. You can't sit there and allow your circumstances. You feel what I'm saying? You can't sit there and allow your circumstances to stop you on your tracks. Nah, bro. Like I told y'all, I said this earlier. I believe in God, bro. I, I really like believe in a higher power. So every day, I'm not, I'm not necessarily having a confidence in me. Now I got confidence that God gonna, 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 gonna be, gonna do something for me. I got confidence that that God gonna bless me. You feel what I'm saying? So I make sure and do my part. But in reality, I'm giving all that to God. You hear me? I'm giving all that to God. So, bro, real life, I'm contacting that, that week that they tried to fail me. I contacted everybody. I I tried my best not to stress. It was stressful, don't get me wrong. I tried my best not to stress. But, man, I gave that whole situation to God. You hear me? I contacted everybody that I could, and I prayed on it. I contacted everybody that I could, and I just sat there and prayed on it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, bro... You can't necessarily do everything on your own. Sometimes you got to rely on, 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 on another source of strength. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to rely on another source of strength. So it's like, bro, I just had to sit there and do what I could. I, I just had to sit there and do what I could, bro. And that, that, that's, that's all you can do. You can only do so much as a, as a human being. So do what you can and then pray on it. Yeah, I mean, do what you can and then pray on it, bro. For real, for real, man. But I, 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 at this point, I'm ranting again. You hear me? I, at this point, I'm ranting again, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm just finish the rest of my ride. I'm gonna listen to some music or something, man. But I truly appreciate y'all for rocking with me on this real talk situation. You feel what I'm saying, man? I hope all y'all have a blessed and a safe rest of y'all day. Go, go and share this with somebody, man. For real. Go, go and share this real talk with somebody. I'm pretty sure somebody needs some of this free game. You feel what I'm saying? So go and share this with somebody, man. And just comment down in the comment section what piece of this y'all like. Uh, what y'all want to hear about me talk next time. You know what I'm saying? What y'all want to hear about me. I mean, what y'all want to hear me talk about next time. You feel what I'm saying, man? But it's the multi-millionaire in the flesh. I truly appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Yeah, man, man. And um, peace out. <laughs>